Did you know France makes Africa pay for its own foreign aid by manipulating the West African franc? Based on a review of public financial reports, it appears France has never actually used its own money to help Africa. I'm about to discuss one of the most elaborate financial cons since the original Ponzi scheme, and no matter how bad you think this is, don't worry, it gets worse. First, the backstory. France controls the creation of money for 14 countries in Africa, a legacy of colonialism. We call this either the West or Central African franc, depending on the country. Every year, France prints between 20 and 40 billion euros worth of this African currency, which it uses to buy natural resources, influence African leaders, and occasionally provide some developmental aid. Pay attention. France prints the Africans' own paper currency and then exchanges the currency they just printed for physical goods and resources. You might be tempted to call this counterfeiting, but they already have a word for this in French. It's called seigneurage. Here's how the French have flown under the radar. France manages this African currency by pegging the West and Central African franc to the euro at a 655 to 1 exchange rate. This has made the African franc one of the most stable and predictable currencies in Africa today. You may even think at first glance that the West African franc is essentially a euro. Except it's not. When the European Central Bank expands the money supply, aka creates more euros, this gives the French Central Bank the authority to print more African francs. Now, over the past 10 years, the Euro M2 money supply has been increased between 60 and 66 percent, which means for every billion West African francs that were printed for Africa, the Central Bank in France was able to print over 600 million West African francs of their own, which means they can practically do whatever they want with that money. We can only estimate these financial numbers because the actual amount is a bit obfuscated by the French banks for obvious reasons. However, when we add up the M2 money supply for these 14 African countries and multiply it by the estimated expansion of the West African francs. France appears to be printing between 20 and 40 billion euros worth of African currency every year exclusively for their own use. So when someone tells you the West gives all this foreign aid to Africa, it might make sense to ask where that money actually came from. 